Hi everybody, my name is Jason. I'm Kaden. I'm Jaden. I'm Mila. And we are the Yahoo and the Torah YouTube channel, and we thank you guys very much for joining us. Thank you for being a part of our little family here. We are the family that believes what? The law of the Savior's commandments are forever there for all generations, that we should follow them um, as for all times, that they should never be gone, and that we also believe that Yehoshua is the Messiah. He is the son of Yahuwah. They are not uh, the same person. There is no such thing as a trinity. We believe Who's Yehoshua? He, he is the son of Yahuwah, and we believe Yehuwah is God. And uh, his name was Jesus. Jesus. There's no Jesus in Hebrew, so until modern Hebrew. So there is so there's no... Um, it's not Jesus, it is Yehoshua. He was a Hebrew man, so he would have heard uh, more of a Greek name. He would have heard a Hebrew name. Okay, today is the first day. How's everyone doing? Good. Good. Okay, guys, for everybody, anybody who's interested in this, this is Yah Scriptures. There's Bibles, Scriptures available that you guys can purchase. For every purchase that is purchased from you, a full Scriptures is going to go into our brothers and sisters in chains. Um, this is a printing Bible press that is there to help those in chains. Guys, you will never find another book this size. You will never find it in with all of these books. It's 103 books, 1.4 million words, a little under 1.4 million words. All of the old restored um, Apocrypha, it's all been restored. Everything is there. All these books that were pulled out, 2nd Ezra, 1st Ezra, all these ones that you will never ever find anywhere else, here they are. Um, fully restored names of our creator and his son, and they are available for purchase right now. And if you guys like to download these, they're absolutely free of charge. The, uh, all the PDFs right here, you can get the, the Apocrypha is the second one, the, the Yah Scriptures is the first one. You guys can get the eSword modules, tons of people download all the eSword stuff. Uh, Traditions of Men is a new download as well. We are going over this series. Um, it's a free PDF you can get. It's also available. Everything there is available on Amazon. You can go there. The links, again, are in the description below. Um, all 100% of revenues that go in from this go into our brothers and sisters in chains. Okay, uh, gentlemen, um, somebody get me the last what's happened. We are in 2 Samuel 23. What? Where are we at? Uh, what's happened in the life of Dawid and the times of Yisrael and the times of Yehuda? Where are we at? What's happening? Uh, Dawid had to fight his son Absalom to get his kingdom back. He got his kingdom back. Um, Yoab told him to go talk to people and not just weep for his dead son and try to fight him. Dawid uh, is going to talk to the people. He gave a song to the people and he sang a song to Yahuwah. And it was uh, all the things he'd done for him. And this seems to be back when um, he was running from Shaul's when it was talked about it. And uh, Dawid is, had a very stressful life. And he's, getting, he's getting older. He uh, they didn't want to fight the Gibbonites and um, he couldn't go out and fight. They, they didn't want him to die. He's getting older and they're like, uh, you stay back or if we lose you, we'll lose all Israel. Okay. All right, anyone else have anything else? Nope. Okay, here we go, 2 Samuel 23. And these are the last words of Dawid. The saying of Dawid, son of Yishai, the saying of the man, raised up on high, the anointed of Elohim of Jacob, and the sweet singer of Yisrael. The Ruach of Yahuwah has spoken through me, and his word is on my tongue. The Elohim of Yisrael said, the rock of Yisrael spoke to me, one who rules over man righteously. Who rules in the reverence of Elohim is like the light of the morning when the sun rises. A morning without clouds, tender grass from the earth, from sunshine, from rain. For is not my house so with El? For he has made an everlasting covenant with me, ordered in all and guarded. For all my deliverance and all my desire shall he not make it send forth a branch. But the worthless are all as thorns thrust away, for they are not taken with hands. But the man who touches them uses iron or the shaft of the spear. And with fire they are burned up in place. These are the names of the mighty men whom Dawid had. Yoshev, Bashabeth, the Tachanmonite, chief among the officers. He was Adino the Etzite for 800 slain at one time. And after him was Eliezer, son of Dodo, the Akoite, one of the three mighty men with Dawid. When they taunted the Pelashites who were gathered there for battle and the men of Israel had gone up. He arose and smote the Pelashites until his hand was weary, but his hand clung to the sword. So Yahuwah brought about a great deliverance that day, and the people returned after him only to plunder. And after him was Shammah, son of Age, the Kerite, the Her Herorite, and the Pelashites had gathered into a company where there was a plot of ground covered with lentils, and the people fled from the Pelashites. But he took his stand in the middle of the field and delivered it, and smote the Pelashites, and Yahuwah wrought a great deliverance. And three of the thirty chief men went down at harvest time and came to Dawid at the cave of Adomla, while the army of the Pelashites encamped in the valley of Rephaim. 
And Dawid was then in the stronghold, while a watch post of the Pelashites was then in Bethlehem. And Dawid longed and said, Oh, that someone would give me a drink of the water from the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. And the three mighty men broke through the camp of the Pelashites and drew water from the well at Bethlehem that was by the gate and took it and brought it to Dawid, but he would not drink it, but poured it out to Yahuwah. And he said, Far be it from me, O Yahuwah, to do this, the blood of the men who went at the risk of their lives. So he would not drink it. This is what the three mighty men did. And Abishi, the brother of Joab, son of Zeriah, was chief of another three. And he lifted his spear against 300 men whom he slew and had a name among these three. Was he not the most esteemed of three? And he became their commander, but he did not come to the first three. Anyone understand what that says? But he did not come to the first three. I don't think it means he was over the first three. Like he wasn't like their leader. Oh, I see. 20. And Biniah was the son of Yahiada, son of a brave man from Kabatzeel. Great in deeds. He smote two lion-like men of Moab. And he went down and smote a lion in the midst of a pit on a snowy day. What do you guys think? The, what do you think the lion-like men look like? What do, what do you, I don't know. They must have really big beards, maybe crazy hair. Big beards? Maybe they're big people, big strong people. You think they're giants? Maybe. And lion's a big creature. I mean, to look like a giant lion, two lion-like men. Um, these dudes had to be like large fellas. Yeah, and lions are strong too, so these dudes are fighters. Yep. Okay, 21. And he smote a Mitzrite, an impressive man. And the Mitzrite had a spear in his hand, so he went down to him with a staff, wrenched staff, wrenched the spear out of the Mitzrite's hand and slew him with his own spear. This is what Bini Yahu, son of Yahu Yada, did. And he had a name among three mighty men. He was more esteemed than the 30, the 30, but he did not come to the first three. And Dawid put him over his guard. All right, more esteemed than what 30? What 30 are we talking about 30, here? 30, uh, mighty man. Back so, up here. Okay. Back up in verse. Oh, up, uh, oh there's 30 here somewhere. I thought it was 3. What verse is it? I am looking. Oops, I just done it. There it is. And 3 to 30 chief Where man. Where was that? Uh, 13. 13. That's 30 chief men. Okay, there it is. And three of the 30 chief men. Okay, sweet. All right, where are we at? I think, where are we on? Eight? Uh, I think we're on... 20... Okay, I swear. We're on uh, 21. 22. 21. 21 or 22? 22. 22. 22. This is what Biniah, son of Yahoyada, did and had a name among three mighty men. He was more esteemed than the 30, but he did not come to the first three, and Dawid put him over his guard. Ashahel, the brother of Joab, was one of the thirty. Elkanan, son of Dodo of Beth Lechem. Shama, the Karodite. Eleka, the Karodite. Keletz, the Paltite. Ura, son of Ikesh, the Tekoite. Abiezer, the Anathothite. Meb Mevuni, the Kushathite. Zalman, the Akokite. Mak Mak Mahari, the Netopathalite. These are extremely hard to pronounce. Anyone want to give that a shot? Eli, try this 29. Caleb, son of Bana, the Netopathite. Ittai, son of Rebai, from Geba, of the children of Benjamin. Benyahu, the Pirathalite. The Hittai, from the Wadis of Gash. Abi Alabon, the Arbathite. Azmaweth, the Barkunite. Uh, El Yaqba, the Shalwanite, of the sons of Yashin. Yohanathan, Shama the Hararite, Akiam, son of Sharar, the Hararite, Eliphalus, son of Akashbai, son of the Machathite, uh, Eliam, son of Akithophel, the Gilanite, Ketri, the Carmelite, Parai, the Arbite, Yigal, son of Nathan, uh, Zoba, Bani, the Gadite, uh, Selech, the Ammonite, Nakarai, the uh, Birathite, Arm bearer of Joab, son of Zeria, Ira the Yithrite, Gerub the Yithrite, and U Uriah the Kittite. Oh, I'll finish it. Okay. 37 in all. <laughs> Just, all right, man. Thanks, Eli. No, <laughs> I took the real easy words. No, that was really good. Um, Eli is really, really good at reading because he's gone over these 1.4 million words several times. I think he has like 5 million words in him. He's doing, yeah, many, many times. So he's much better at like reading these out because he's the, the main reader for Yah's scriptures. Okay, um, what do you guys make of this? 
Anything? Um, those are all men. They all got noted. These are obviously the people that Dawid cared about and the people that took care of Dawid. So they got their names mentioned. And in the end, you see Uriah the Hittite. That's the one he um, stole Bathsheba. He ended up killing him and stealing his wife. Yeah. But uh, in the end, he still had his name written down as a, as a 30 chief men, someone who was powerful, someone who was a strong warrior. Okay, so I have a quick little story from the book of Josephus um, on Dawid and Bathsheba. Um, according to the book of Josephus, um, Bathsheba was actually the one that said, Dawid, you need to do something because she was scared to die because she committed adultery. So because a daughter of Yisrael had committed adultery, she was to be killed, right? And so she freaked out and sent it to there. So uh, it wasn't just Dawid planning against her old man. She had something in that as well because she didn't want to die. So I guess at the expense of her old man, uh, both of them... Um, when they lost their child, they were with sin, obviously, right? I mean, it she. It takes two to tango. It takes two to tango, absolutely. And um, the way Josephus talks about it is, um, she was freaking out, right? This is there was there was way more to that story than just Dawid deciding he was going to go, uh, just kill this guy in the middle of battle, right? And so there was a woman involved. She was tripping. So, with that, um, we hope that you guys have a wonderful day. We are out. Thank you very much. All right. Shalom. Shalom.